So, I'm sure most people probably know, but just for anyone who doesn't, uh, give a brief explanation on what Lutris is and what problem it's trying to solve. So, the, the initial goal of Lutris was making it easy for everyone to play as many games as possible on Linux. Mm -hmm. um, so, that was meaning like gathering like a whole bunch of tools, what we call runners, mm -hmm. which is like a concept that um, is a bit opaque uh, for some, uh, because it refers to, to a collection of software that we ship. Mm -hmm. And that's used to, to run the games, actually. So we have uh, Wine, which is like the biggest one. Mm -hmm. uh, but we also have MAME, we have RetroArch, we have Dolphin, basically any, like we have GZ Doom, we have ScumVM, basically anything that can run like multiple games that will serve as the basis of a, of a runner. Mm -hmm. So, and it will uh, handle like several uh, gaming platforms. So for example, Wine, it will be Windows games, uh, DOSBox for the MS-DOS games, and you have like those multi-platform uh, runners too, like MAME, RetroArch. Mm -hmm. um, but over time, I mean, uh, Linux, like gaming on Linux, like improved quite a bit. And the goal for Lutris has kind of like evolved with that. In the, the sense that it was less and less of a challenge to get the games running on Linux. So we didn't need like as much as tinkering as we used to. So we were in a position where we got the games running on Linux and they're running like really good. And now the goal is just like keeping that around. Mm -hmm. So we have like that, those, those games running like a, a huge number of them. And let's make sure that they stay that way for the foreseeable future. Mm -hmm. And I'm not saying like just like two or three years like in the future. I'm talking about like 20, 25 years. Like, like let's make sure that we keep like our legacy of video games uh, playable, mm -hmm. like like for the, the 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 foreseeable future. And yeah, that's that's been like um, the new priority for Lutris. Mm -hmm. Because it was more than just like game, like running games on Linux. That's pretty much a solved problem. Uh, Valve has helped a lot with that. Uh, so yeah, we focus more on keeping that those running and improving the situation. There's obviously still a couple of issues, most notably with like weird anti cheat stuff, especially when you're dealing with the like rootkit style uh, anti cheat that you see in a lot of uh, Riot games, for example. Um, mm. I know there was a time where a lot of people were playing League of Legends on Linux, for example, and as of late, they've started messing around with their anti-cheat system. That's caused a lot of problems there. Um, uh, yeah, so right now you can still play League of Legends. We've had like an update recently. Oh, okay. Uh, but yeah, that was like a few weeks ago. It was broken. <laughs> And then we had a fix for it, but uh, don't hold on to it like <laughs> too too much yeah. because uh, there was uh, a live stream from Riot Games where they said they would introduce uh, Vanguard, so that's yeah. the anti cheat that's used for Valorant. Um, that's coming end of February, beginning of, of March. And if that's the case, that means like no more League of Legends mm -hmm. on on Linux at all. Like no fix will ever like fix that. I mean, there's like no solution for like making that run. Um, so yeah, you can just say goodbye to League of Legends. And if you and for the longest time, League of Legends has been like the top game in Lutris, the mm -hmm. one with the the most like installs. Um, and that's just going to go away yeah? and that's yeah that's kind of too bad uh it's kind of the same for like any game that's based on a really like on a live service mm -hmm. um it's not quite quite the same as with um anti cheats because anti cheats i mean the game is still maintained you can still play it on windows um but over time like all those games that depend on on a server right, right. like on some some uh, online service once the online service it becomes unavailable whether it's like anti cheat is not does not work or uh, the 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 game server just plain shut down shuts down mm -hmm. then you cannot preserve that that video game yeah, um, yeah. So, 
unless you come up with some solutions where you re-implement the, the backend server, which is like a lot harder, mm -hmm. uh, then yeah, those games are gone. So I don't know how what to make of it because um, in this that sense, I mean, Fortnite already like isn't we can't preserve it. League of Legends, like you can't preserve it like, either if you don't like have a way to to run like the the, the backend service. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm not sure what to position myself with that. It's like a, a really tricky thing. Like that, yeah, those online games. The good thing is that a lot of online games now work, mm -hmm. even those uh, using EAC but, or BattleEye. You have a lot of uh, publishers that said, yeah, OK, we'll enable like the Linux bits uh, for EAC. And now uh, you have a bunch of games that still work. Mm -hmm. It's just that it's not the same EAC. You have like EAC that's just like the normal anti-cheats. And then you have like the EAC that's the full blown like kernel uh, level mode and and Vanguard like is basically the same thing as the, the, this uh, setting for EAC. So that's I mean is unlikely to work ever in Linux. Um, so yeah, I mean there's not not really a good solution um, unless we see some kind of like bridge like from the Linux kernel like to the anti cheats, but that's kind of involved. That's not something I'm capable of doing with my skill sets. I know so, there was some yeah. discussion or work on something similar to that being done with the wine team. I don't know how far that moved past like the early stages. And that obviously would be a giant project to do. Um, mm. It would be awesome if yeah. it could happen at some point, but I, I just, I, I, I wouldn't put my money on it happening. I would want the, yeah. like, the, the preferable solution there is Vanguard to do something similar to what was done with EAC and Battle Live, where they do offer a version that does work properly on Linux, but that still doesn't deal with the, like, the ultimate uh, preservation issue. Like, you're still going to have this issue where if you're playing a game like Genshin Impact, for example, when the servers go down, yeah. it's all gone. It, it's gone, yes. Um yeah, that's that's a kind of tricky because do we want really games to inter interfere with um, the the kernel, like to have like kernel access to to your system? So that's, I mean, it's also it's at the same time a blessing and a curse because um, those games they don't work, so that's too bad. But also we're kind of protected on Linux from those games that kind of overreach. That's do things that maybe they shouldn't be doing. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not really, I mean, games using like kernel level features, I mean, maybe we should find some better solutions than that. So yeah, maybe that's, we're protected against the game itself that could be like doing like anything on your system. Uh, but uh, also you can't play the game. But So that's, as I said, it's a blessing and a curse because I do. I knew, do know that most Linux users, the way like the mentality of Linux, mm -hmm. is that they wouldn't want those kernel entities running on 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 the system. Mm -hmm. uh, but also, they they power those games that are really popular. Uh, so it's a big trade off to make. So you trade off like more security, like more like your privacy in your system, but also you don't get those popular games. It's it's kind of tricky. There's like no good solution. Um, running a VM most of the time is not a solution because uh, those games will also detect that you're running in a VM. Mm -hmm. 